Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of expressions and equations and how we can tell the difference between the two and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. Now you've heard these two phrases, expression and equation, and you might think they mean the same thing but in fact they are quite different things. An expression, no matter how big and how many operations it uses, represents a single value. So it could be something as simple as 7, it could be something as complex as 4 cubed divided by parentheses 4 minus 2. Both of these will simplify down to a single value, a single number. An equation, on the other hand, is a complete mathematical thought. So you can think of your expression as an incomplete sentence or just a phrase and an equation as a complete sentence with the mathematical equivalent of a subject and a predicate. The biggest key is that it has an equal sign. An equation shows you that two different values are equal. So really, an equation is two expressions with an equal sign. So for an example, one equation might be 4 plus 2 equals 8 minus 2. Now you see your equation is made up of two expressions. Here's an expression, 4 plus 2, and this also is an expression, 8 minus 2. And it is an equation because of this equal sign because these two are balanced. So an expression is just a single value, whereas an equation is a balance of two different expressions. So what happens to expressions and equations when we use variables? You see we have an x in both our expression and our equation. Well, with an expression, there's no equal sign. And so the value of that expression, because remember, expressions are just a single value, is going to change based on what I replace the x with. So if I want to make my x into a 1, well, I can simplify it like this. 4 times 1 minus 2 squared. So really that's 4 minus 2 squared. So that's going to be 2 squared, which makes 4. But what if I were to take this exact same expression, 4x minus 2 squared, and replace the x with something a little bit larger, like 3? Well, that would be 4 times 3 minus 2 squared, so that's going to be 12 minus 2 squared, so that's really 10 squared, which makes 100. So you see with an expression, we don't know what x is going to be, and the value will change based on what we replace the variable with. Now, the equations are different. Remember, our equation, the equal sign, so shows that these two expressions, because that's an expression and that's an expression, shows that they are balanced. And so in order to make this true, most of the time your x can only be one thing. Every once in a while, if there's an absolute value involved, you might be able to make it uh, involve something else as well. But let's see what we can get this x to be here. So we know how to deal with these equations. We need to get all our variables on one side and our constants on the other. Let's get our like terms together. So I'm going to uh, subtract 9x from both of these sides here. And so that's going to give me 18x minus 9x. That's going to be 9x minus 2 equals, those two cancel out, 7. Now I'm going to add 2, I'm going to use inverse operations here, to go ahead and get that 2 on the other side there. And so I'm going to get 9x, those two cancel out, equals 9. So 9x equals 9. I just need to divide both sides by 9. And it looks like 9x divided by 9 is 1, so that's going to leave my x by itself. 9 divided by 9, that makes 1. So in this case, to make this equation true, it looks like x needs to be 1. Let's see what happens when we plug that back into the equation. So you see here, I've rewritten our equation, and I've just put the 1 in here for the x. And so 18 times 1, that's just going to be 18 minus 2. 9 times 1 is going to be 9 plus 7. So 18 minus 2 is 16. 9 plus 7 is 16. So in this case, x equals 1 makes our equation true.